In this video I want to talk about using OneNote and in particular the optical character recognition within OneNote to be able to process data in Excel. It's a, a problem that's been put forward to me by a, a colleague. The particular software they're using doesn't have a print or an export function on a report screen and this is a workaround for that. Now a word of warning, it's not legal to process personal identifiable data for reasons that aren't previously approved. That's just the way it is at the moment. There is new legislation coming out in May 2018 called GDPR and when that takes effect the penalties are much much higher. So if you are looking to process or as we're going to do here print screen and work with, with um, personal data you'll need to take advice from your information governance at your appropriate organization. Now I view this as being a four-step process just generically if the software that, that you're trying to take a print screen from doesn't have a print function then it may well be just a, a training issue or it might be that your IT department might need to put it forward as further development to the suppliers. Second thing to say really is that this is a generic workaround. Any Windows based computer that has Microsoft Office on it will also have Microsoft OneNote. Firstly to the actual process itself. Now I'm using some data that is publicly available and I've included the, the source, it's here at the top, it's from the uh, NHS England website. This will work from any website or any web based document or any Windows piece of software unless the print screen function is disabled. Now the print screen on my keyboard is towards the top on the right hand side and it's on a little key that says PRT SC. Now it might say print screen, it'll have something along those lines and all you have to do is to press print screen. The second step is that we go into Microsoft OneNote, I've already opened this up here and what we'll do is we'll paste it. Now you can use the generic Control and V, this is actually a picture of what appears on the screen. The next bit is the really clever bit where we're going to use the OCR to convert the text from the picture and to put it into text. The way to do that is to click on the picture then right click and then click copy text from picture. I'm going to paste it at the end in this, of this one note. You're going to see that the format isn't anything like the table that you see. I'll just control and V and you can see it's not quite ready. Having copied the data into Microsoft Excel you can see that there's plenty of stuff there that we don't actually want and it doesn't look anything like the table that we wanted. So there is some jiggery pokery if you like that we're going to have to do. In the first instance I'm going to delete some data and you know, some lines here which really have no bearing so click right click we'll delete those. If we look at some of the num number formats that are down here for instance here we can see that the data hasn't been copied over perfectly. Uh, this figure here 1146.29 is completely out of step with everything else. So there's going to be some formatting. They, you can see that OCR has put in full stops or decimal points instead of commas in certain places. We'll look at those at the end. We can see that it's not copied the text over correctly. I'll make those changes and I'll tidy up the data and show you the end results. You can see here that the number format hasn't been copied over correctly as I've just said. What I'm going to do with the numbers is to find all the decimal points and convert them into commas. The way to do that is to click on Find and Select, click on Replace, look at Replace All, so I'll place in Find All Decimal Points, Replace with Commas, click Replace All and it tells me it's made 35 replacements. Having pasted the text from the picture, I've now got a semblance of a table by copying and pasting into uh, columns that look pretty similar to the original table. The areas where I've changed the full stop, the numbers rather, I've changed for the where the full stop into a comma, where there are still errors, they stand out like a sore thumb. And those we can address individually. Uh, it's uh, this which should be 
put a zero in, turns it back into text. I've now made all the editing that I want to do to this graph. It looks very much like the original data. The total time it's taken me to edit this, uh, according to my Ultracron stopwatch on my phone, is 8 minutes 58 seconds, which I think is not bad considering that we started off with a picture. It would have taken me a lot longer to have typed this document out, made sure that the figures are exactly the same as they are on the screen. Here I know that they are. So in short, the process is straightforward. The data that you see on the screen, take a screen dump, print screen it, drop it into Microsoft OneNote, which takes no time at all, right click and copy the text from the picture, which then starts off as a long line, paste the same thing into Microsoft Excel, and then edit that document. I hope that helps. For more information and hints and tips on how to use Microsoft Excel, please visit www.practicalxl2010.com